I'm David Troy, and this is the David Troy Cell. So I just wanted to ask a question today. I there was I posted a video about a year ago when I was starting out and we had to take some we had to take the music off it because it was demonetized because we you know copyright and blah blah blah. We're still sort of learning how to how to do videos more or less. Uh, but we had some negative feedback or we had some feedback and then we had some really bad negative feedback. And I responded to it, and now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have. You know, I, I, I didn't know what to, what to say or do, um, so I did respond. Um, but this is what happened. This is a video I'm talking about. It was how to do an ombre tutorial with over 35,000 views. Received a comment, the worst video. And then I responded, thank you for your feedback. You have such an in-depth, positive way of approaching it. How long have you been hairdressing? Because I'm sure you have years of experience and I'm always looking to learn from others. They responded, cute. Your passive aggressive people like that are super irritating. I've been doing hair for about 10 years. I started really young, lol. Coming from a hairdressing background, being featured in papers, TVs, so try again, girl. If you're gonna ombre someone's hair, why would you bleach it just to cover all the work up with a color? Stupid. And also, there was no voiceover to tell what steps the horrible stylist was taking. And then I did reply, and I said, I should never reply to your first post. I am always trying to improve, and I am sure you have an outstanding resume. This was an early video just starting out on YouTube, and yes, it could have been better. But I hope that we can get a video you like one day. Thank you for your response. So I guess my question to you is, how do you deal with the negative feedback on your videos? Do you ignore them or do you respond to them? I just, I didn't want to engage in a in an argument with this person because, you know, it, arguing on the internet is ridiculous because they don't know me and I don't know them. They don't know my history and I don't know theirs. But I was just wondering what you guys do. Like, do you respond to the negative feedback or do you just keep going? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So please, Throw them in the comment section down below uh, and let me know what you guys do. So I am still learning. I think you never stop learning. So I'm still learning how to deal with the YouTube stuff, how to upload videos, how to make videos. You know, I've been hairdressing for a long time. That, I'm a, uh, you know, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I've made videos on who I am and what I do and how long I've been hairdressing and my history and I've cut hair all over the world but um, the YouTube thing is still, is still, I'm still fairly new, you know, I've only got about 1200 subscribers so I'm still growing, I'm still sort of figuring it out but uh, that's why I asked this question. Thank you so much for just watching this video and uh, I will get back into doing hair and hopefully posting some positive videos and, you know, uh, bleh, and hopefully they will get better as far as the videos go and we will get more up in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, come back and check it out and don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Because <laughs>